Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Men, while you're watching this video, try not to get mad. Don't throw your phone. Don't punch your TV. Just try to watch this video and stay as calm as possible. In this video, you're going to witness these corrupt family court prosecutors, judges. You're going to witness how they want a man who is not the biological father of this lady's child. They want him to pay arrears for child support, even though this lady has committed paternity fraud. The family court system is sick. It needs an overhaul and these corrupt family court judges and prosecutors they need to crawl up under a rock and rot somewhere literally i'm not gonna talk anymore let's get right into this damn video proposal is as follows uh, mr vasquez owes an unpaid child support balance of sixteen thousand fifty four dollars and 87 cents as of march 31st 2023 His, we are requesting a payout of $130 monthly beginning May 1st, 2023. A medical support judgment of $12,548.24 as of March 31st, 2023. State is requesting payout of $113 a month beginning May 1st, 2023. Um, as is the practice court costs to be billed to non-custodial parents 60 days from today. There was a um, non-disclosure for Mr. Vasquez. Just want to verify was prior. Sorry, Judge. Mr. Vasquez dropped, so he just rejoined again. Mr. I am so I am so sorry. I lost connection. Okay. So I'm not sure if he heard what your proposal was, but uh child support arrears the state is requesting a judgment of sixteen thousand fifty four dollars and eighty seven cents with a payout of 130 medical support arrears proposed judgment twelve thousand five hundred forty eight dollars and twenty four cents on child support arrears state is proposing a payout of 130 on the medical support arrears state is proposing a payout of 113 both beginning may 1st she's requesting court costs be billed to mr vasquez and a non-disclosure finding to continue in your favor. That's her proposal. So I just want to make sure. That's her proposal. This lady right here, Lindsay Thomas, who works for the state, pretty much the state's prosecutor and family court for men. She even wants him to pay the court costs. Stay tuned, guys. Just stay tuned. Be calm. Hold your temper. Sure that you... I know you disconnected by accident your connection. Okay, go ahead, Ms. Thomas. Um, yes, Judge, if I may, I need to clarify the non-disclosure finding I'm not finding in the prior order. Just messaging the... Okay. But if I may proceed, I call Ms. Um, Bautista. Ms. Bautista, did you hear the terms I stated to the court? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Do you agree with the state's request today? Yes, ma'am. You understand that our system stopped charging current child support and current medical support to Ms. Vasquez. Yes. The day we found out about the order from CPS establishing someone else as the father? Yes. Is Do you have any safety concerns if your phone number and address were to appear in the court order today? No. Is this proposed? I pass. Is this proposal in the best interest of your child? Yes. I so, pass the witness. Okay. I okay. What well, one second? So let me, because now I could get into my odyssey. So I, I wanted to. I know I heard what you said, but I want to make sure. Um, you stated that an another order has found that another individual is the biological father of the child subject to this case? 
Yes, Your Honor. On May 5th, 2022, CPS um, did an order in the same cause um, establishing uh, Ronnie Lee Clements as the father for the child, Michelle Vasquez. But we had, there was a prior AOP and we had done the initial order in 2012 um, establishing Mr. Ricardo Vasquez as the father. There's no request for release, Your Honor, of arrears. Okay. And so this. So obviously the lady that was on the phone, she was the mother. This guy right here, the Spanish guy, Ricardo, Va Ricardo Vasquez, obviously when the child was born, he must have signed the birth certificate. So therefore, whenever they broke up, he was ordered to pay child support and he never did. Comes to find out that the lady committed paternity fraud, but the state, they still want to hold Ricardo Vasquez, who is really not the father of the child. They want to hold him liable for arrears of about twelve to $13,000. The state. Lindsay Thomas, the lady you see here with the glasses, they want Ricardo Vasquez to pay $13,000 to a woman that committed paternity fraud. You can't be serious. And this is the crap that men have to go through all the time. These women, they don't get prosecuted for committing paternity fraud. There's no consequences for committing paternity fraud. It doesn't matter what these women do. They get a slap on the wrist, can go about their merry way after they have destroyed a man's life. Me personally, I thought fraud was fraud. In my eyes, if you commit any type of fraud, there should be consequences. If you commit welfare fraud, there's consequences. Electronic fraud, there's consequences. Any other type of fraud that's committed, there's consequences. But a woman can get away with committing paternity fraud. Nothing won't happen to her. And they have the nerve to tell this man or tell the judge, the lady, Lindsay Thomas, she wants to tell the judge that they, the state, they still want to hold him responsible for the rares. Sickening world we live in, men. Sickening world we live in. And then when some of these men take justice into their own hands, that's when it's made into a big news story. State is requesting to confirm those monies from the prior order against Mr. Vasquez. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Although we're aware now that he's not the father, although he signed an acknowledgement of paternity, correct? Yes, Judge. Okay. Let, let me ask Mr. Vasquez something. You disagree with their request, Mr. Vasquez? Yes. Okay. I do too. <laughs> I'm going to have to refer to district court though, because the relief that possibly... And, and let's stop that. Let's stop it. Look how this lady, she looks sick. She works for the state making pennies. And she looks sick because that Judge Maya Evans, thank you. Thank you very much. There are some good judges out there, I guess. Thank you, Judge Maya Evans. We need more judges like her. She looks sick. She looks sick right now because she wanted to make sure that this man was held responsible to pay arrears for a child that wasn't his. And she's looking sick in the face like it was her child or it's her friend or that she's getting some type of cut or make a commission off this man paying arrears to the, to the to the state. You can get, I can't give you. I have a special um, jurisdiction of what I can rule on. My suggestion to you, Mr. Vasquez, is you need to go hire you an attorney and see what your legal options are. At this point, I am not going to move forward on their pleadings. I'm going to refer the case to district court. You need to hire an attorney. You got it? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, so the case, and there it goes. No matter what situation, men are always placed in a situation where they have to spend money. Now, that attorney is going to run him about three to five thousand dollars just for the retainer alone, just to go fight in court and prove. He doesn't even have to prove. It's already been established that he's not the father. It should automatically, in my eyes, be dropped. But the state will pursue this to get a dime out of this man, to get monies out of this man. And these women, they won't say it's OK. He doesn't have to pay arrears. He's not. No, no integrity. Won't hold themselves accountable. The lady knows she committed paternity for all that. Y'all heard on the phone and she won't say, you know what, Your Honor? I'm sorry for doing what I did to him. He's not the father. He shouldn't have to pay arrears. It's not on him. She still will take. Oh, God. This pisses me off to no extent. And the MABW team, y'all know how I feel about this stuff. But these women have no morals. They have no morals at all. She will still be willing to take money from this man and get arrears, even though it's been established that he wasn't the father. She did whatever she did, whether it be cheat on him, sleep with it, whatever she did, she did it. And it's not his child. That man shouldn't have to pay for a lawyer and he, and he shouldn't have to give her a freaking dime at all. He shouldn't have to go out and spend his hard earned money on a lawyer for a child that isn't his. Okay. So be referred to district and Ms. Uh, Bautista and Mr. Vasquez, can Ms. Thomas put your email addresses in the referral for district court? Because the district court judge is going to set a hearing and they're going to send notice letters to you guys and they have to be able to contact you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So is it okay that she put that in the uh, order that I'm referring it to district, your email address, sir? Yes, ma'am. Anything, anything. And ma'am, do you understand that, that they're going to uh, have to send notice of the hearing to you? Yes, ma'am. And I want to stop it. It's all, like, look at this man's face right here. He seems like a respectful guy. It's already bad enough that the child wasn't his. We don't know how long he took care of that child for. We don't know the love he had for that child, what he did for that child. It's already bad enough and hurts bad enough when fathers find out that that's not their blood child. It's already bad enough. And then they want to throw salt on the wounds by trying to make this man pay the rears. Make this man hire an attorney to, to fight for a child, to fight to pay, to not pay arrears for a child that wasn't even his. That wasn't even his. Okay. What else? If I may, Your Honor. So sorry to interrupt you. Miss Bautista is currently incarcerated. Right. I'm not a hundred percent sure if she has access to email. May I include her? The bitch is incarcerated. Let's keep going, man. Mailing address? Yes, Miss Bautista. Is that fine that she includes your mailing address? Make sure, making sure you get notice of all hearings, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Is there Let's stop the damn video right there. We ain't got to go any further. The bitch is incarcerated and they want this man to pay the rares. She doesn't even have hold of her child right now because she's incarcerated. I would like to know for what? For what? So she's going to be obtaining money when she gets out of jail for doing whatever she she has done. She's going to be able to come home to money. While I'm sitting up here working overtime, possibly killing myself on the job to pay a lady that's been incarcerated, doesn't even have her child that has committed paternity fraud. It's a cold world, guys. Stay up. Y'all know what's going on out here. Your boy MABW, all I can do is warn you and bring the news to you to let you know what's going on so you can be aware. And a lot of women out there, like I stated before, guys, this is the type of stuff that women don't want you watching. That's why they don't like MABW. That's why they don't, they don't like a lot of these other type guys that put out the same message that your boy MABW puts out. The proof is in the pudding. This stuff is real. It's not a facade, guys. This is real stuff that's really going on. So be careful. 
Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.